So please welcome with her speech entitled Possibly Positive Anne Marie, everybody! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. <laughs> hiya, hiya. Okay. Um, right, there's a quote that I like at the moment and um, I'm going to share it with you. Hopefully I can remember it. Um, so, um, live by faith and not by sight. And what that means is, whatever, wherever you are today in your life, you can change instantly in a heartbeat. Okay? And do you want to do something cool? Do you want to do something a bit different? Yeah? Yeah, you're up for that. Could everybody just stand up? Let's just shake the air and the atmosphere up. And a little bit nervous, we've got a lot of emotions, haven't we? Okay, could we all put our hands up like this? Yay! Excellent. Okay, now what I want you to do is just focus your attention at the back of your head. So just imagine yourself at the back of your head. Your attention inside, go in your body. Okay, now go to the top of your head. So here, yeah? Okay, now I want you to go into your left eyeball. Now go across your nose into your right eyeball. Put your hands down. Now what I want you to do is focus your attention on your heart. It's there. I had to figure it out where it was myself. But it's there, yeah? So focus your attention and let it just expand a little. Can you, can you feel something there? Can anybody feel anything? Is it just me? Am I? Yeah, you can feel that? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Please sit down. Okay, excellent. Yay, good. <laughs> it works. <laughs> but it's just me. <laughs> well, I found out today we actually have, and it's a good way of explaining it to you rather than it just being me blobbing on. But facts and figures, yeah? We actually have an electromagnetic field around our bodies, our, our organs, yeah? And the heart has one around it, which is 60 times greater than your brain, okay? So, and what happens is when you're focusing on your heart, everything in the vicinity is in that heartbeat. So if I focus on love, on my heart there, and feel that pulse, everything that's in 10 feet of me, is going to feel that love. Interesting, isn't it? Apparently, it's 10 feet. Now, there are some under the yoga uh, philosopher that you can actually do it overseas. I have tested it, and I did it once with my mother. I don't know if it was a fluke because we're family or whatever, but she felt it during an operation that she was going through, and I was upset because I couldn't be in the same room. Anyway, it, it worked for me, yeah? So I'm sharing that with you. Um, and what I did at weekend was, I, try, I, taught, I practice this every day. Every day I focus on my heart and I see, because it makes me feel good, and I suffer, as you can tell a little bit probably, from anxiety and because of things that have gone on in our past and we've all had stuff. So I'm trying to like find a way going forward, yeah? So if I focus on my heart, then things go a bit better in the day. So I went to this wedding and it was my partner's cousin's wedding and they've been together since grade nine and 12 years later, they decided to get married. It was lovely, it was beautiful. It was a five-star hotel, it was all nice and posh and beautiful. And I'm just building a picture up here, okay? <laughs> and, then, um, and then, so then we had the meal, yeah? And then all of a sudden, I just had this surge of energy and I wanted to dance because I had all this heart. And it was a lovely wedding, you know, and everybody was feeling nice and you've got all that love and it's filling the room and everybody's going, oh. And it was, and it was beautiful. So me and my partner were dancing on the dance floor and we do share a very nice, special bond between us. And, there's, and I love feeling, that's what I, that's what I like about him. Anything else I, do, I can do myself. But I like the fact that we can, no, we can, and we can express this love. And it's lovely, and you feel warm. And, you know, you get that, oh, you just feel bathed in bliss. Has anybody been bathed in bliss? Do you know what it feels like? No, seriously, do you? Do you? And it's like, like that, hanging out your log out. You know? And it's, it's just so wonderful, the feeling. So... Then we started dancing. Oh, it is. And we was having such a really good time. And the people around us must have been feeling it as well. Because they, they were, we had these people wanting to get in between us. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, but it was fine. So we were all dancing. And then we went out for a little break. And they had like a little rest area. You know when you go outside these places and they've got, they got like leather settees. And on the leather settees is his sister younger sister and older sister, and they were giving it some, like people do, you know, they gossip and, and whatever, and they'd had a few to drink. But what I do know is, is the younger sister's gone through a really major ordeal. She lost a son three years ago. He's 16 years of age, and he hung himself. So the, the two of them, herself and her husband, have been dealing with it the best they can. They go on lots of holidays, they get drunk a lot, and they, but they, 
it, do you know what I mean? Who are we to say? They just deal with it how they can. But this particular time, and they'd been going on at one of the loggerheads, and I saw the husband walk past, and he was he gave her such a look, like you're gossiping about me again, and there was that anger. And I thought, I can't, it was awful. And I, I, don't, I don't normally get involved with anything like that, but they called me over, and they said, Amber, you know, what do you think? She was talking about leaving him, and, she's, and I was thinking, why would you do that? You know, they've been together 20 odd years. And it's such a shame after what they've been through, and they're going through enough already. So I just said to her, look, do you love him? And it just shocked her, and it, she was a bit perplexed. And she thought, what do you mean, do I love him? I'm just talking up to my other sister about leaving him and saying he's all this, and he's all these horrible things and everything. And then I said, well, do you love him? And she said, well, yeah, of course I love him, Anne-Marie. You know, it's not about that. You don't understand. It's about this, this, and this. I said, well, OK, I hear what you're saying, but what is it you do like about him? And then she started to think about things that she liked about him. So with that, my partner, he obviously felt something. He gave her a kiss on the cheek and it was one of the most tender moments you've seen a brother and a sister connect. And she just melted and you could see her face all soften. I said, she must have been, she must have been, she must just need some tender moments. She mustn't have had any of the pair must be at loggerheads all the time. And she just said to him, could you just do that again, please? It was so nice. So he gave her another peck on the cheek and she melted again. And if you'd have been there, your heart would have, you'd have cried. It was so beautiful. So with that, I thought, okay, there's nothing else to do. We'll leave it there. So we went off boogging back in a dance hall and then we were dancing and we turned round, we'd had about three dances, we turned around, Pat and nudged me and we saw the two of them there, they were on the dance floor, very sexy dancing I have to say, <laughs> they were doing, <laughs> but you know, but they were, and they'd connected and they were back up and, they, and I thought wow isn't that powerful, the power of love is really tremendous and we must not underestimate it, it can get you through the most ridiculous places, it can do all, anything for you. So I challenge you today to try and do a seven day love focus just by focusing on your heart and your life will change. I do it all the time. I see miracles and I call them miracles, but it's weird. Just everything will just change. Just try it and see what you think. Thank you. <laughs>